Ready for first port de bras. Let's do first port de bras. Right, you can do it sitting, you can do it laying down, you can do it standing, you know, however you want. Occasionally you can let it get away from you, go up to third. Okay, let me answer uh, another comment, very good comment actually, question, it's a very good question. Now this refers to the Maria Khorova video, the, the analysis that I did. By the way, she's completely using the corrections that I gave, not using them well, but trying to use them. Did you know she has a little sister named Sophia? She is a dancer to watch because she is obviously also using the corrections or her teachers and coaches are. Um, and she's someone to watch. She has more talent than uh, her older sister, in my opinion. Um, so it's with regard to that. So the question, I'll just read it. Uh, it says, I'm confused. You say her knees don't straighten, but it seems that she does have hyperextended knees. Are her knees considered bent because they aren't fully lengthened, hyperextended, on the working leg at the bar? And I answered this in writing, but I wanted to tell you what I think about it. So here's the thing about this. This is, it's like the worst of both worlds. So she was trained to keep her heels together. And when you have hyperextended legs, that means the legs never straighten when, when dancers are in first position or fifth position or, right, or third, right? any closed position any cross position, right? Closed position. So they don't straighten, so the muscles develop accordingly. This is how training works, right? But when a, a hyperextended dancer is on one weight-bearing leg, then the leg completely hyperextends, the knee, which is dangerous. So in this case, her, tr her training, and, and it's not just her, it's, it's, this is a common practice now, their legs neither straighten when they need to be straightened and they hyperextend when they shouldn't be hyperextended, when it's most dangerous. So when a, when a ballerina is standing on point, on one leg, jumping, turning, doing whatever, the, leg is, the knee is totally hyperextended, which is an absolute injury waiting to happen. When the leg is hyperextended, the hips can't stay engaged, the core can't stay engaged, the back can't work correctly. Right, you get a hyperextended left leg, let's say, so left leg's hyperextended, standing leg, weight bearing, this one's doing what it's doing, what's gonna happen? Shoulder's gonna pop up. That's the problem with hyperextension. It's loose, which means it's unstable, which means they will be injured, right? So now, about two legs, the reason they need to, to straighten, these, this is your jump. This is your jump and your landing from almost everything, right? Even awesome blade, one leg, but you land on two legs. And the, if the legs, if, if, you're, if you don't take off through these straight legs, and this is in one of our classes that have already come out probably, and especially if you don't land through straight legs supported by everything else, heels pop up, knees buckle, backs all over the place, hips are out, and you get injured. So with hypermobile dancers, this is why I've, I've trained them this way. You don't put the heels together. The heels together makes absolutely no difference at all because ultimately we're training for fifth position. The heels are not together in fifth position. They're not even near each other in fifth position. First position is the beginning of what will become fifth position. First, third position. Same with fourth position, right? So that's the answer to that question.